In this video, we'll be looking into multiplication of large numbers or integers using the divide and conquer technique. So multiplication of large integers. The algorithm is used to efficiently multiply large integers. Usually multiplication, multiplying two n digit number requires n square digit multiplications. We know this. But however, this algorithm reduces the number of required multiplication through clever manipulation. So we'll look into the algorithm first. So start with two n digit integers represented as a1, a0, b1, b0 where all are digits. So with the given uh, inputs, we'll be taking two inputs right a and b. So you need to divide it first into two n digit integers as a1, a0, b1 and b0. Then recursive calculation. So we need to calculate c2, c0 and c1. This is uh, in order to get the first half product. This is to get the second half product. After getting first or second half product, you uh, club it all here and finally you get the product uh, that is C. Uh, you need to repeat this recursively until n value is 1. So this was about the algorithm. Let's solve a problem. Uh, that's when we'll understand how it works actually. So let me write. So we are using multiplication of large numbers. I have two numbers here. A is 1, 2, 3, 4. And B value is, I have it as 5, 6, 7 and 8. I need to multiply this. So in order to multiply this, um, my first step would be to split the given number into equal parts. Right. That's what we have specified here. So A, if I split, I'll get it as A1, I'll get it as 1, 2 and uh, A0, I get it as 3, 4. And it's, it goes the same for B also. B1, I get it as 5, 6 and B0, I get it as 7 and 8. So this was my first step. Second step is uh, now uh, the value of A can be obtained using A1 and A0 like this only. Value of A can be obtained using A1 and A0. We'll uh, apply this formula that is A1 plus A0. No, no, sorry. No, not this formula. We have uh, this formula. Yeah. C2 star 10 power n plus c1 star 10 uh, n by 2 plus c0. Here we have uh, four values and two integers, right? So the formula would be a is equal to 10 square a1 plus 10 to the power 0 a0. This is my second equation. Applying the values here, uh, 10 square a1 value is 1, 2 plus 10 power 0 a0 value is 3, 4. So here I would get 1000 or uh, 200 plus 34 that is I have returned back to 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it is proper. It goes the same for B also. So for B I will write B is equal to 10 square B1 plus 10 power 0 B0. This is my third equation. And when I solve it, I would get uh, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So uh, this, this means that it is proper. Okay. My next step is uh, two numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8 can be multiplied using second equation and third equation. That will be my third step. So uh, multiplying equation 2 and equation 3 I can get a star b as 10 square a1 plus 10 power 0 a0 into 10 square b1 plus 10 power 0 b0. So I'll solve this further. So I will club uh, 10 power 4 outside. I'll, I'll uh, club 10 power 4 outside. That will be 10 power 4 a1 b1 plus 10 square a1 b0 plus 10 square a0 b1 plus 10 power 0 a0 b0. Uh, further solving this, removing 10 square outside, I would get 10 power 4 a1 b1 plus 10 square a1 b0 plus a0 b1 taking 10 square common here and 10 power 0 a0 b0 so uh, i'll substitute the values here so i will i will get 10 power 4 a1 value is 12 and b1 value is 56 12 into 56 plus 10 square value is a1 b0 a1 is 1 2 b0 is 7 8 1 2 into 7 8 plus a0 3 4 into 5 6 plus 10 power 0 a0 b0 it is 3, 4 into 7, 8. So when I solve this, I will get 7, 0, 0, 6, 6, 5, 2. So this is how uh, we can solve the large number of, uh, we, we can solve large uh, numbers by splitting it into 
uh, by using this algorithm. So this was here uh, we have used four multiplication. So one, two, three, four. We can further simplify this. Uh, further simplify this, we can multiply it with three digits or uh, three multiplication factors also. So this was about multiplication of large integers. Now let's look into Strassen's multiplication matrix using divide and conquer approach. So Strassen's algorithm offers a more efficient approach to multiplying matrices compared to traditional brute force method, particularly for larger matrices. So the basic idea here is to reduce the number of multiplication required to compute the product of two matrices by exploiting the decrease a divide and conquer strategy. So initially it was designed for two cross two and later it, uh, it got uh, enhanced to n cross n sized matrix where n is power of two. If n is not power of two matrix can be padded with zeros. So matrix matrices a, b uh, and product c are divided into four n by two uh, n by two n by two sub matrices. So these are uh, these are treated as numbers to compute the product. Here I have uh, A matrix, 2 cross 2 matrix and here I have B that is 2 cross 2 matrix. And in order to get this C resultant matrix, I, I know the multiplication is A11 uh, into B11 plus A12 into B21. So that's how C11, C12, C21, C22. This is easy. But then when it comes to a larger matrices of 4 cross 4, 4 cross 4 cross, how will I solve this? Here I'll be using Strassen's multipli uh, multiplication matrix formula. That is, um, here I have 4 cross four, 4 matrix, here also I have 4 cross 4 matrix. In this, I'll divide this part as 4 quadrants. Okay. So, dividing this as 4 quadrants, I'll be solving this entire thing and name it as C11. And I'll be solving this entire thing and name it as C12. In order to solve this, I'll be making use of Strassen formulae. So here are a set of formulae, P is equal to P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. So using these formula, uh, by, by considering these tables, I'll, gender, I'll uh, deduce this formulae. From these formulae, I should for calculate C11, C12, C21, C22. This is comparatively easier than multiplying 4 cross 4 matrix to 4 cross 4 matrix. So this was about Strassen's multiplication. Let's look into an example now. We will have a better understanding of it. So I, I am taking just... Um, a1, A2, A3, A4, 2 cross 2 matrix only because for this it, it is time consuming and it's not asked in uh, exams usually. Um, next I have B1, B2, B3 and B4. So I will take A and B. A values are 1, 2, 5, 6 and B values are 8, 7, 1 and 2. So I have A here and I have B here. So this A11 and here A12, here A13. Oh, sorry, here A21 uh, and here A22. Here B11, here uh, B12, here B21, here B22. So from these, I'll be calculating the uh, product. So firstly, I have so all these formulae, right? So I'll calculate P, then Q, R, S, T, U, V. In order to calculate A11 plus A22, A11 is 1 plus A22. A22 is 6. 6 plus 1, 7. Right. 1 plus 6 into, I will have 8 plus 2. That is 70 I will get. A21 plus A22. A21 plus A22 is 5 plus 6. Multiplied by B11. B11 is 8 here. Right. So I will get 88 here. Next I have uh, A11. A11 is, um, A11 is 1 into B21 minus B11, 7 minus 2, these two. So I would get 5 here. Here 6 into 1 minus 8, that is 42. Here 1 plus 2 into 2 is equal to 6. Here 5 minus 1, A2 minus, A21 minus A11. 5 minus 1 is 4 into 8 plus 7, 8 plus 7, that is 60. And last one I have 2 minus 6 into 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is equal to minus 12. So now that I have obtained these values, I look into this part C11, C12, C21, C22. So here also I should write for in order to get C, I have C11, C12, C21, C22. So let me let me look in look into these formulae here. So for C11, I have P plus S. P is 70 plus S is 42 minus T. T is 6 minus V. V is minus minus plus plus 12. 
ఉంటుంది మైనస్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఉంది నెక్స్ట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ సి వన్ టూ ఫర్ సి వన్ టూ ఆర్ అండ్ టీ ఆర్ ఇస్ ఫైవ్ అండ్ టీ ఇస్ సిక్స్ సో ఫర్ సాల్ దిస్ ఐల్ గెట్ టెన్ ఇయర్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఐల్ గెట్ లెవెన్ సి టూ వన్ ఫర్ సి టూ వన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎయిటీ ఎయిట్ క్యూ మైనస్ క్యూ ప్లస్ టీ ఎయిటీ ఎయిట్ ప్లస్ ఎస్ మైనస్ ఫార్టీ హియర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ మైనస్ ఫార్టీ టూ ఓకే మైనస్ ఫార్టీ టూ విచ్ విల్ రిజల్ట్ టు ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ అండ్ సి టూ టూ ఐ వుడ్ గెట్ సెవెంటీ ప్లస్ ఫైవ్ మైనస్ ఎయిటీ ఎయిట్ ప్లస్ సిక్స్టీ సో ఇట్ వుడ్ రిజల్ట్ టు ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ సో నౌ దట్ హ్యావ్ ఆప్టైన్ సి వన్ దీస్ వాల్యూస్ లెట్ మీ రైట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ద మ్యాట్రిక్స్ సో ఇట్ వుడ్ బి టెన్ లెవెన్ ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ అండ్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ సో దిస్ వాజ్ అబౌట్ స్ట్రెసెన్స్ మల్టిప్లికేషన్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ Uh, example now we'll look into the uh, complexity analysis so number of multiplication m m uh, m to m of n follows recurrence relation that is m of n is equal to 7m n by 2 because uh, all these values need to be can, uh, calculated right resulting in complexity of order of n log 7 base 2 the number of additions and or subtractions a of n follows similar recurrence so strassen's algorithm outperforms brute force method asymptotic uh, asymptotically with a complexity of order of uh, n to the power 2 power 8 compared to order of n cube in uh, previous videos we have uh, calculated the uh, analysis for uh, time complexity for normal multiplication of matrices compared to that this is better because n to the power 2.8 is there in this so this was about strassen's multiplication matrix next we have binary tree traversal uh, traversal using divide and conquer approach so what is a binary tree a binary tree represented as t is defined as finite set of nodes that is either empty or consists of a root and two disjoint binary trees that is we have a left binary tree a left subtree and right subtree so since the definition itself divides a binary binary tree into smaller subtrees many problems about binary trees could be solved by applying divide and conquer approach so here we have the algorithm to compute the recursively uh, computes recursively the height of binary tree in order to find out the height of binary tree will be using this algorithm that is input is equal to a binary tree output is the height so if t is null if uh, the tree does not comprise of anything then we'll return minus 1 else return maximum of height of uh, the left subtree and height of the right subtree plus 1 uh, plus 1 is because we are counting the root node also here so we'll understand this with an example further so the height of binary tree is computed as maximum of height of its left and right subtrees so these are recursively sent here so this t of l will be written here and the value would be calculated further it goes the same with this also so uh, heights of its left and uh, plus 1 count of root node yeah and analysis part a of uh, n n of t is equal to the analysis of uh, the left subtree right subtree plus 1 yeah this is we have derived it from this return statement only if it is empty we'll get zero so this was about the analysis part further we have the number of comparison c of n to check tree if empty is 2n plus 1 number of additions is n so external node is the leaf node and internal nodes are the inner nodes further we have uh, a concept called as classic traversals of binary tree which uh, follow the uh, decrease and conquer first we have the pre order traversal pre order traversal is uh, like the root is visited before left and right subtrees are visited in the same order uh, then we have in order traversal here the root is visited after visiting its left subtree but before visiting its right subtree in post order we have the root is visited after visiting the left and right subtree so here i have written the short forms pre order is root left right in order is left root right post order is left right root so let me uh, for this a given binary tree let's write pre order post order in order so if i start with pre order i can write so first in pre order i should consider root first right so i'll write a a being the root node then i should look into left part left part this is the left part this is the right part in left part i have uh, this entire thing but then for this entire thing this uh, sub tree i have b as the root node so i'll write b here okay next i have this entire thing next i have d here so i'll write d here next uh, within this uh, the lower side d empty and g so root i have written left there is nothing right i have g so i'll write g here next coming to this side i have e here and uh, coming to this side i have c here and i have f here then h followed by i 
so this was for pre order now i'll write for in order for in order left root right so the left part should be considered first in left part leftmost element should be written first so look at the leftmost element do we have anything in leftmost element no we don't have anything in the leftmost element right so we'll start from uh, left root right left there's nothing here root is d and right is g this part is done now left is covered then root what is uh, this is b here and then e here now this entire thing is covered now i'll write root that is a now here left root right so left what do i have h i have in the left then root f then right i this entire thing left part is covered then root c then i don't have anything here so it's done then writing the post order i should follow left right root so starting from left in this leftmost i don't have anything after left i have right so i'll write g here first then root g d this part is done now left is done so i'll write e here this is also done then root b here this part is done so left entire is done now i'll look into the right part again here left right root so here h i have h i f h i f this much is done and next after left i have uh, right side there's nothing so i'll write root and then followed by that i'll write a so this was about the pre order in order post order uh, traversals this could be asked in the exam uh, i feel it's a pretty simple topic we have studied this uh, in data structure subject also if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments so in this video we have covered binary tree traversal or strassen's multiplication and we have completed multiplication of large numbers you all three using divide and conquer approach so stay tuned to my channel if you have any doubts do let me know subscribe to my channel thank you